Oh, Libra. What's up, my Libra gang, 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 gang? What's going down in the life of a Libra between now and the 30th of September? Hmm. Hmm. Y'all trying to cut people off? Y'all stuck in between shit? Hmm. Hmm. Are you finally going to choose yourself instead of the we? Because it's stressful sometimes. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right. This is for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Libra. Okay. Um, this is your first time to my channel. Hey, boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, this is your first time viewing my channel. Hey, look, I, I may cuss a little. I may cuss a lot. This depends on what the hell these cards say. Okay, uh, if you do need a personal reading, this is a general, okay? Please feel free to hit me up in the description, y'all. The $10 reading is over, okay? I'm going to know y'all like, well, how come it's over on our video, Mocha? Because it had it on, it had its own video, okay, uh, about a week ago um, to give you the dates of everything okay so i may have said it in other people's generals because it was still going on but it ended on the 15th so i should not get any more um emails talking about the 10 dollar reading all of the information that you will need if you can't find it in the description on the arrow below will be found also on my about page i'm working on building a website i'm working on moving i'm working on a lot of different things right now one time so y'all please bear with me and thank you so much for just being supportive during this time so i'm my new subscribers welcome to the family y'all we're the dysfunctional okay y'all know i'm very transparent so everything i go through i don't have any type of secrets or anything like that i tell y'all every damn thing when we family okay so with that said i gotta move so y'all may see um different environments at least for the next two weeks okay so i love y'all very much and neither here nor there that shouldn't matter as long as you get the message right all right right so um Thank you, y'all, for the likes, the shares, the subscribes. New subscribers, welcome to the family. We don't do all that fighting and drama over here. We love, we encourage, we enlighten, we uplift, okay? So we rocking. You know, the first message that I have for you guys comes from the Crystal Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. For those of you who had, uh, who have who've been following me since I started my channel in January this year, um, y'all, this go, this was a my original setup was just letting y'all all in my business and allowing you to see. You may see some of the cards. Um, you may not. I, that really don't matter to me. Um, but I, for those of you, I decided today because I was going to try and record just in a in more comfortable setting. But I was like, no, I'm gonna let my family see and peep my little feng shui. Okay, so we rock it. So the message that you guys got was angel like spiritual or religious community. Join with like-minded people for friendship and increase spiritual growth. Okay, it says, have you been feeling lonely? This card comes to you as a guidance to connect with like-minded people in a spiritual setting. Perhaps you've received the inner call to attend church or temple or to find a spiritual group aligned with your life beliefs. This card confirms that this true divine guidance and I'm sorry, this this card confirms that this is true divine guidance and encourages you to take the need at the needed action steps. You have been receiving guidance about your spiritual path, including intuitive ideas about which communal settings will provide support and friendship. Spiritual groups are also powerful because of the energy of joint prayer, which lifts everyone up. In these contexts, you are likely to receive healing insights and visions, making times, I'm sorry, making friends with people who share your spiritual beliefs offers you a feeling of safety where you can easily be yourself in a social setting. Studies also show that having a spiritual community is correlated with increased health and longevity. Now it's time for you to take the next step and attend spiritual meetings as your guidance. So a lot of you Libras are kind of, when I said I felt like you were stuck between something, some of you guys could also be stuck between your beliefs, stuck between if I'm going to take the religious path that my mama and my grandmother follow, or if I'm going to, if I've ch chosen to seek, and at this time I found a more enlightened path, am I going to be true to that path? And accepting the fact that you can't please everybody, but still understanding that you can love them, you know, but you understand that you have to love them, but love them, some people, from a distance because they can be emotionally conflicting towards themselves. Okay, so Mother Guy wants to speak to you during this time between the th and from now to the 30th of September. I do see a lot of y'all are going to be having spirit is one of you guys to use your emotion over intellect. Libras analyze every damn thing. Y'all are the most thinkingest thinker, thinking, thinking people that I freaking thinking know. Okay, uh, and I understand this. I have a Libra rising. 
Okay, so I do, um, and during this time, you know, I'm having to make decisions, you know, uh, I'm Aries, okay, but I have that Libra rising, so uh, it's kind of crazy because a lot of times I battle between, you know, the me and the we, you know, and a lot of times, sometimes when I don't put myself first, and I feel like a lot of people can understand me on this, especially you Libras, I feel like when I don't put myself first, I kick myself in the ass because I feel like I'm missing out on opportunities that, you know, are just passing me by trying to make sure that everyone is happy when on the cool, look at my damn happiness. It's just kind of, you know, passing me on damn by trying to make sure everybody else is happy. It's time to put you first during this time, Spirit says. Also, um, it, it's, it, it's a time to truly love from within and truly embrace and be able to embrace, I'm sorry, embrace and communicate effectively about what you feel and not be worried about how somebody else going to Take it, you know what I'm saying, to to the point that it makes you shift your own ideas and your own or kind of contradict your own feelings, okay? Don't overthink it. Just feel your way through it. A lot of you guys have new love coming in between now and the 30th, okay? I feel like this love has already come, I'm seeing, but I feel like some of you guys, because you're so used to handling love from a strategic place, you don't know which way is left and which way is right. But you just know that you love what you feel. You love how this person makes you feel. And you know that you feel fulfilled. And everybody, I feel like people in your surroundings are kind of making you feel, you know, like, well, you know, feel like as if you don't have time for love, you know, because I feel like ultimately who I'm speaking about, you really need to give more self and more time to yourself. Not what other people think you should be doing, but what it is that you feel makes you happy. Okay. Why well, y'all got new love coming, okay? Yeah, some of you guys during this time will be receiving spiritual downloads, okay? With those spiritual downloads, I feel that, yeah, some of y'all also may be finding feathers, a lot of feathers during this time. But with those spiritual downloads, it's meant for you, you're receiving them to do something with them. Not to sit up and be strategic and ponder and wait and wait and wait and wait and see what's going to happen next in order to see what. No, Libra, you are a cardinal sign. You got to move forward. You got to move towards what it is the spirit is showing you. Those spiritual downloads to the new people who are new to the journey. They're like a, like a spiritual message or a synchronicity or, you know, just a thought or idea or creativity or, or some type of spark of information. Okay. That, are, that is sent to you spiritually. Okay. A lot of you guys are going to be receiving it in your third eye. Some people receive it differently. Some people receive it. I'm clear audience, for example. So a lot of times when I get my downloads, sometimes it comes through my crown. Sometimes it comes through my pineal. Sometimes it comes through my ear. When my ear begins to ring and sound like a damn fax machine and then I hear, you know, so it's everybody has different spiritual capabilities as well as everybody has different spiritual gifts. It's how you hone them and embrace them. But please be receiving to your downloads because I'm seeing that some people who are new to the journey, you may be a bit afraid. And you may kind of, it may make you distance yourself from people and this is causing conflict when ultimately it's just like you needing to communicate, respect how I feel. This is what I'm going through. This is how I feel. I need this time to myself. I need this time to embrace this new love that's coming towards me. I need to embrace my emotions because I'm tired of feeling so cold, so distant or being accused of just being cold. Because just because I communicate strategically doesn't mean that I do not feel. And that's how I feel a lot of my Libras are feeling. Again, during this time, a lot of you guys need to nurture. Nurture your feelings. Nurture what it is that you feel. Hold on, I'm trying to back this thing. Bite that thing on. <laughs> like Ply said, bite that thing on. Um, a lot of you guys need to nurture. Nurture your hearts. Nurture. Center yourselves and nurture yourselves, okay? I feel like a lot of you guys are needing to also work on your solar plexus, okay? Your solar plexus is needing to be aligned, and for some of you, it's your root. I feel like a lot of you guys, spirit is trying to open up your heart chakra for those of you who are trying to manifest love, yet you cold. You got, it's not really you cold. I feel like you, your heart chakra is blocked. It's like you're you're manifesting something or you're wanting to manifest something that deep down within you fear because you haven't really given the proper love to yourself and nurture yourself after possibly your past, okay? And possibly things that's going on going on in your present life. You needed to make time to nurture yourself during this time. Some of you guys are going to be able to look at something possibly involving um 
an ex partner or someone who you have a child with. Okay, but I feel like some of you guys are dating an old perspective during this time and dating the way that you looked at a certain particular situation or person. Okay, I feel like some of you guys, some of you all who are who are currently pregnant or who are new mothers, congratulations, y'all know most little kids. Okay, but I feel like some of you guys are trying to manifest. You're trying to birth this greatness. You're trying to birth this fulfillment into your life. However, you're looking at everything negatively or looking at things like you're manifesting it, but you're saying, I hope that go right. No, baby, no. Okay. Knowing and hoping and trying and doing is two different things. It's two different vibrations. You can't be praying for love. And then when love comes in, you're like, oh shit, the hell you finna do to me? Cause I'm just going to wait on it. Cause I know you finna do something. No, that's not the attitude that you need to have. You need to be able to see things more clearly and see things from a different perspective in order to create that into your world. It starts within the mind. A lot of y'all are going to be projecting this self-love, this love for yourself. And again, I tell you, it starts from the root. I tell y'all on that other card that I've seen, I, I feel that you need to work on your root chakra. But I feel like a lot of y'all are finding the love from deep within. You're not, you find the love for yourself deep within. And that's going to allow you to open up your heart and allow you not to feel like you're blocked in love because it's like a, a contradiction in what it is that you're manifesting. And it has to do with the mind and the heart and the spirit being aligned with one another. But you have to make that time for yourself in order for that for yourself in order to build that self-practice and self-dedication. OK, to put you first. So you lead by examples for others who come into your damn life to know how not to treat you because of how you treat yourself. Oh, no. Libra not going for that shit because, you know, she no, no, she he not going for that because this is how they treat themselves. Project that and you'll receive that. OK, during this time, I feel like a lot of y'all feel like you cut you, you, you're kind of caught in the middle. For some of you, you could be caught in the middle of two soulmates. This could be an Aries and a Sagittarius. For some of you, it could also be, um, for some of you, it's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, and it could also be another air sign like yourself, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like some of you guys want to take a leap of faith towards love, but you feel stuck in your everyday life, okay? I feel like you're needing to find time to cut things out that really don't really serve you because some people... In your world, Libra, I'm feeling our dream killers. Every For every good thing you have, pay attention to them. That's what's up, people. When you tell a person, hey, look, I'm graduating. I'm finna have a baby. I'm moving into a new home. And this, these people who just seen you get it out the mud, and they hit you with a that's what's up instead of a congratulations or some shit like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Watch them motherfuckers. As a matter of fact, you can cut them motherfuckers because they dream killers. For people who are truly happy for you, who want to see you grow, they understand that. Yeah, Libra probably can't talk to me every day because she got a new love. She got a new boo. Oh, he got a new boo. Okay, we can't hang out how we used to because this person didn't reconcile with their family. They, they're, they're building again. They're, they're building their foundations. So it's not for me to have an attitude, but if I love Libra like Libra love me, I'm going to be understanding to the understanding of Libra's perspective on the we and why it hurts them so much. I feel that for some of you all, you ha you're trusting your intuition when it comes to dealing with the soulmate relationship about a third party situation. Some of y'all could be finding out, especially if you're married to someone, some of you could be finding out that someone maybe about in the last three years, three months could have possibly snuck away. OK, and had a child. Some of you are trusting your intuition when it comes to your partner's child. OK, or someone, so, something going on possibly with someone and the, the, the mother or the father of their child from the past or a child resurfacing from the past in your lover's life. And I feel like this person is moving different and they're moving different. And you know that there's something going on, but this person won't communicate. But you feel it. You feel it. But because you don't see it, you're looking at it from an intellect, from from a from a intellect, like intellect type standpoint. So you see the difference. However, you're not trusting what you feel. Some of you during some of you during this time are using your intuition, especially if it pertains to a child. Or another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and knowing that you have to cut this person off. Some of you are wanting to take a leap of faith and stay in a situation because you know that this person is your soulmate. However, 
I feel like this person, you needed to communicate and express yourself about how you feel about the, how this person carry themselves, how this person really respects you out here in these streets. Because I feel like if we're married, if we are a couple, okay, why you out here, you know, projecting this energy? Why you out here with that sneaky shit? For some of y'all, it's not really sneaky shit. Someone wants to reconcile with you, but they don't communicate effectively. They keep their feelings close to their damn chest. And I feel like it's causing for the skills to be off balance. The Libra is, I feel like this, if this person just balances things out with communication, or this could be you, Libra, then things can be in the upright and you can move forward and reconcile with this person during this time. But it's all up, it's all about taking that leap of faith in order to fix it to stay where you at. Some of y'all feel stagnant in a situation when the only thing you need to do is take a leap of faith toward their soulmate relationship. But in your head, you didn't told yourself something going to happen. So of course, you're creating your world. For some of y'all, you're finding out that something happened. But you created this. Okay, let me see. What's going on for my Libras? Between now and the 30th of September spirit. Please show me. Please show me. Some of you guys are going to be reconciling with um, someone who possibly did. Or kind of, you're, you're, you're staying still when you know you your heart wants to take that leap of faith. With someone, this could be a Sagittarius or Aries. I keep seeing them two pop out very strongly to me. For some of y'all, it's another Libra. For some of you, it's a Scorpio. Some of y'all, some of y'all are going to be finding out truth and clarity, okay, during the through the legal system. But I feel like you want to take a leap of faith with this person anyway, and this person feels the same way about you. However, both of y'all are keeping y'all feelings close to your chest when both your mutual energies is wanting to nurture you, nurture the relationship. Some of you have an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, who was possibly indecisive in the past. And some of them are still coming in with that same indecisive ass energy during this time. However, you know that this person, intuitively, you know that this is your person. You know that this is your boo for Before things can be upright, you or this other person got some doors to close from the past that definitely could involve children, okay? Or some type of partnership. Or some type of commitment that involves a partnership. Some of you guys are going to be starting something new after this. Some of y'all, to be honest with you, your foundations were built on faulty ground. So they're needing to be torn down in order for you to get this Ace of Wands. In order for you to have this Ace of Cups. I tell y'all, some of y'all have new love in the form of a water sign. Pisces. Cancer Scorpio. Strong emphasis on the Pisces. Strong can Well, everybody here, to be honest. But I strongly see that this person is a strong... There's a strong attraction between you and this person. This person loves you. They want to love on you, Libra. But you're thinking too hard about it because of what everybody else said or what everybody else did that you really have to take the time to nurture yourself through. Some of you guys are literally in your head about everything. Every, stop thinking and start feeling. Because some of you guys, this could be you or the other person. Somebody's very anxious about putting in work with somebody who was possibly indecisive. And I feel like intuitively you still feel that this person got the energy of indecision on them. But you just want to make it work. You want to see everything go smoothly. Please, Spirit, show me what's to come. Let's clarify these cards. I'm going to leave now to the 30th of September. What is this two of cups? For some of you, it's an Aquarius. For some of you, this person is everything that you wish for, everything. I told you, you manifested this into your life. And now you're afraid for some of you guys. And I feel like I'm talking to somebody who is trying to manifest true love, okay? I feel like, or who have manifested that love into their life. And this is new love. And you're afraid to take that step because you feel like, well, I've been single for some time. And I haven't been in a relationship forever. Or maybe I don't trust this person. But I feel that this person loves me with everything. And maybe they could have changed. For some of y'all, they didn't. But for some of y'all, they did. And the only thing that's needed to be had in this connection is effective communication. For some of you guys, you want to move towards an Aries person. You want to start over and reconnect with this person. Because for some of you, I feel like this is your home. This is where you feel that you belong. This is where you're supposed to be. This is where you're supposed to be. This is, this is, this is your boo. Okay? This is your home. This is the foundation that you've built. But you, you feel that the relationship have become stagnant. This is your two of cups, okay? But I feel like for some of you, 
for some of you, yeah, some of y'all want to take a leap of faith towards the Sagittarius. For some of you who are dealing with that Aryan person, you feel like the relationship has become stagnant because this person drinks too much. And you feel like intuitively, if I'm talking to the person who you feel drink too much, you feel like intuitively this person is hiding a child from you. And that's for the Aries and Sagittarius that I'm, Spirit say Aries and Sag. And for some of you, it's Scorpio I'm here. Yeah, some of y'all are indecisive. Some of y'all are in your head and not wanting to see things clearly when it's right in front of your face. And I feel like this has to do with love, new love, but you're not wanting to communicate. And I feel like you have this person who, who wants to take a leap of faith looking at things a bit differently because they're like, well, damn, how can I move forward with somebody who is so damn indecisive? But it's not indecisive. It's simply like, Libra, you have to be vulnerable. You can't be afraid to be vulnerable. Also, yeah, some of y'all are going to cut somebody off. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or some of y'all could be cutting off a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, and moving forward, moving forward towards a water sign. But some of y'all, you, you're cutting, you, you're, you're letting go of past issues of what once was and getting clarity about situations with someone from your past and moving forward and truly allowing yourself to be vulnerable in love with this person. Why is the three of cups here for my Libras? Yeah. I feel like some of y'all water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, okay? But I feel like some of you are afraid to give your cup to this person because in the past you've dealt with deceptive people. Or maybe you dealt, for some of y'all, I feel like some of y'all could have dealt with another water sign previously and or, or, or of the same sign I'm hearing. And because you're not giving this person a chance because you just assume in your head that this person going to be as sneaky as hell, just like the other person was and juggle you. But some of you guys, um, you had... Possibly a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius juggling you in another earth sign or you in another water sign. You're going to find this out during this time. And it's going to cause the tower to fall. Some of y'all, some of you guys, y'all, you could be having a tower moment with an Aries or a Virgo during this time. And I think it has to do with an outside child as well. But I feel like for some of y'all, they have to do with like some type of divorce or some type of separation. It could also have to do with someone wanting to move forward in the marriage. But... Um, someone could find out that someone did some deceptive shit and now you're just like, I want this new beginning. I want my Ace of Cups. I want my fulfillment. But, you know, will this happen again? Some of you have an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This person wants to come in and they actually want to have that new beginning with you, possibly after some deception in the past. But you have to drop all your burdens. Some of y'all are literally doing shit for it. Everybody else, okay, and you're not making the time for love based on your beliefs of what might happen anyways, whatever, they might just cheat on me anyway. Stop that. You're cheating yourself out of a beautiful experience. Some of y'all going to block your blessing, I see right here. Yeah, some of you guys are communicating to someone else. This could be an earth sign, okay, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, okay, but or another uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Chris. But I feel like you're letting this person know, look, we've had some rocky waters in the past. And I wanted to take this leap of faith forward. But what you're not going to do, because for some of y'all, you got an earth sign. You got a secret baby that you didn't know about or that you didn't have clarity about. All right. Um, and this could be man or woman I'm seeing because I'm seeing both genders. And it's a lot of kids that is going through this right now, like associated with the sign that I'm seeing of Libra because I want to get all these babies out of my third eye. All right. Two of wands. Two of wands. Why is it two of wands here? Yeah, some of y'all Libra are just not making the decision. And you even though you're not making the decision, you it's like it's it's burdening you not making the decision and then it's like you make the decision to not make the decision, yet you feel this sense of anxiety about it. You feel like, yes, I want something new, I want to. And I see that this person's willing to put the work in, you know, but I gotta be real with myself. But some of y'all, you're gonna receive um some truth and clarity, possibly um from or about a fire sign, okay? Uh, some of y'all could be learning about, uh, uh, y'all, these spirit keep want to talk about this baby, about ch children surfacing through child support. Somebody could have, a hidden party decide they're going to stand up for themselves, okay? Or they're going to finally stop running from a truth, okay? And you're going to, especially if you tie to somebody, you may get it possibly in the mail. You may receive it or your partner may receive it and cause an uproar, okay? But anything worth having is worth working for, okay? Some of you guys will be, uh, for some, some of you guys, you've been waiting for that job opportunity that's coming. Some of you guys have a beautiful financial uh, opportunity coming before you that is going to bring you a lot of finances, a great amount of finances and abundance, okay? Some of you, yeah, some of y'all, again, this Libra in their damn head, okay? 
feeling feeling anxiety because even though you know you know you know you know you know that this is your person you just want to sit in this ten of swords energy from your past what spirit is trying to give you this king of cups they're trying to give you love they're also trying to give you a queen of wands here but compromise has to be had communication has to be had some of y'all yeah some of them some of y'all are going to be finding out y'all pregnant okay Congratulations. Some of y'all going to be are not there are new children coming in the marriage, okay? But some of you, you're going to find out about this child. For some of y'all, y'all could be dealing with another Libra, Aries, Taurus, Pisces, and you just don't know if you want to keep putting the work in or if you want to leave. For some of you, you want to start your own business, but it's coming over, it's becoming overwhelming working your current job, okay? I feel like you're tired of your current job. And Spirit, I feel like it's literally pushing you out the door towards Happiness for yourself, okay? And for some of y'all, it's going to push you out the door to make that time. The fact that I got the Ten of Cups twice is undeniable, baby. It's inevitable. You're going to have your Ten of Cups. You're going to have your Ace of Cups. For some of y'all, it's going to happen with someone new. And some of y'all, love and finances are tied up together, but it's about you being, you getting out your own way with what you're creating in the mind. The negativity, baby, that got to die. This, this, this feeling, some of y'all are leaving someone out in the cold due to Possibly a child support situation that is kind of re is kind of coming up out of the blue that you didn't know nothing about having to do with a third party situation, baby. Because whoever this baby is, it was your partner or you and another person. Okay, it's definitely three people involved with it with a situation having to do with a child. But I feel like Libra, you know, you're gonna have to leave someone on the code. For some of you, you're not taking that Earth sign back. I'm not having it. But I feel like it has to do with you choosing yourself. You don't know how to love me. So I got to show your ass how to love me and lead by example so you know it's real. And if if you for me, you will be for me. But you will also be willing to put the work in for yourself, okay, which will attract, okay, and which will vibrate with me. So then, and then, therefore, you will be for me. You get what I'm saying? Libra, your integrity, though, your integrity is everything. So make sure that whatever you choose, you're first being true to yourself, you're respecting the self, and you're honoring the self, and you're getting out of your own way. Yourself out your own self-ass way because some of y'all are literally blocking your blessings when it comes to love, okay? I will. This is what I have for you guys between the fifth, of, well, the now and the 30th of September. I love you very, very, very much. If you need that personal, hit me up, okay? I am available as well. Um... I think I'm gonna go live because I I'm, I was celebrating 5K and it just every every everybody everything just been moving so fast. So I believe I'm gonna do a and A really soon. So y'all stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Okay, and I love y'all very much. I see y'all in October. Bye, babies.